there and check. We made it to Prudhoe! Time to get offloaded. There was an incident at the bottom of this hill and we are having to wait for these trucks to get up. with a tanker. I'm a little nervous. It's a little chilly out. Get your heart out, Peterbilt. So I am losing air. I need to go back there and check and see if Should be holding there now. I checked the truck, I checked the tires, checked the lights, everything's fully operational. It's time to see what's next. When you get to these lower temperatures like this, you always need to check and make sure that your tires are rolling. And um, here's the moment of truth. I stop I do a walk around I just want to make sure that everything's operational looking good rolling well I don't hear any air looks like we're good to go it's time to head north my focus is to keep my trailer not necessarily even my truck but keep my trailer on the road my trailer in my lane on my side whatever I have to do to set up and give my stuff stability for if I get hit I mean if that's what's gonna happen that's what's gonna happen but you better be prepared for it so you know you can think about what can I do to get my power unit to protect the tank well, that's pretty insightful yeah definitely be thinking ahead when you're driving on ice you always have to be cautious of your trailer if you touch the brakes at any point in time, you always need to be aware of where it is. That trailer at any point could swing out in any direction and it could hit somebody coming at you. If you're meeting somebody or somebody's coming at you and it's making you nervous, when you push on those brakes while on ice or slick road, pay attention to your trailer. It is crucial.
hill, we've got something going down at the bottom. There's an incident at the bottom of this hill, and we are having to wait for these trucks to get up. We want to stay out of this, their way. If there's people on the ground, on foot, keep off the road as best you can. These guys just climbed up, and they came around the side. But when it comes to knowing there's an incident at the bottom and they're doing something when we can't visually see it, it's best to just hold off and wait and get the green light for a go. You never know what's ahead. Sometimes you've got incidents like this where you just have to accommodate. Okay, you're clear up top. Come on down. The northbound lane is closed. Watch that. Hey there, southbounder. I got the go-ahead to creep on down, so I'm gonna take it real easy off this hill. All right, we're rolling again. We're past them and uh, dropping off here. Three more coming off at the top southbound. I want to scoot up down here on the, on the start of the pole. Okay, you're northbound coming up. Okay. Communication is super important. Sure is nice running with other people. So I can tell you what's coming. Things to be advised of. Things like that. But I also do my part in the back and let them know, like that instance, hey, there was a truck behind me so they can communicate. It works out. It's a symbiotic relationship. You know what I mean? So we already have one hell of a road. I mean, we literally drive on ice. Like, that's what we do. So it's really super beneficial to run with someone so you get all of the hazards and warnings ahead of time before you come across them on your own. It helps you be prepared. So what happened? You were running over and heard something or? Oh no, the uh, southbounder ahead of me gave me a hauler on the CV and said that uh, there were a couple trucks blocking the road of northbounders coming up. So uh, I went ahead and held up those four northbounders coming up and uh, he went down the hill and asked me to sit on the bench so nobody would come down on him. Uh, he was up in his truck checking for stuff. Then soon after he said he was rolling and I went ahead and rolled on by and told the southbounders up top that we were going by the southbound lane. That was quite smooth. Could have gone to hell in a handbasket. So how will they get that guy off the road? Can you split a truck and trailer on an icy hill like that? Oh yeah, sometimes you have to. I'm glad they've got it figured out there because I would not want to be stuck on that hill. Oh yeah, if you've got a truck stuck on the haul road, you're damn right we're gonna help them. That's what's so important that culture. We just gotta keep it alive. But helping each other and and keeping each other on the road and safe and healthy. Yeah. Yep. And then pay it forward, like you're saying. <laughs>